Hi, I'm Sam with JBugs.com. We're prepping our 1971 Eurolux Super Beetle restoration for the headliner install. In our last video, we installed hush mat, sound deadening throughout the entire interior. Now, we're going to install our headliner pad kit, which will help with keeping the interior quiet, but it will more importantly give our headliner a smooth and tailored look. The pad kit consists of a number of foam pieces that install at the rear, at the quarter windows, as well as the door posts, and above the door opening. It also has a large piece of fabric padding that will insulate and pad the roof. We start with that large pad, and after test fitting the material, we spray the back of it and the inside of the roof with fabric spray adhesive. We wait a few minutes for the adhesive to tack up, then we start at the front of the car, pressing the pad against the roof at the front, then we work along the center of the roof to the back. We know from the test fit that we'll have to trim the pad for both length and width, so we concentrate on getting the pad lined up at the front and along the driver's side of the roof. We leave enough room along the driver's side rail for the headliner bows to slide in place later, and continue pressing the pad into place against the roof. Once it is, we use a fresh razor blade to cut the material along the rear rail and along the passenger side roof rail. Again, along this side, we cut the material enough so that we have a gap for the headliner bows. Next, we tape some plastic sheets in at the rear and quarter windows to prevent glue over spray as much as possible for the next few steps. This isn't necessary and we'll pull them down before we install the headliner, but it is a welcome if only temporary help. We also tape off the assist straps and the upper seatbelt mounts on the B pillars so pulling the foam off here later will be easier. We start below the rear window and spray the body and a semicircular piece of foam with adhesive and then set it in place. Most importantly, we leave a gap between the edge of the foam and the window opening. The headliner will need to glue to the body at the inner metal edge of the window opening, so we leave a gap for it. Then we spray the side and the top edges of the rear window opening, and since we won't be using the defogger for the rear window, the wires for it are cut. We spray the backs of the two L-shaped pieces, noting the longer sides of each will meet together at the top of the opening. The L pieces are glued to the body, and like before, we leave a gap at the window opening. Once both pieces are in place, we can get to work on the quarter window openings. Before we start, we'll note that if we were going to use pop-out quarter windows, we would want to tape off the holes for the latch so that the foam can be cut out there later. We won't be using them, so after test fitting the pieces of foam for the quarter window, the sort of wave-shaped piece, and the wider foam piece that lines up with it, we spray the body and the backs of the foam. And when the glue is ready, we set them in place, leaving a gap at the quarter window opening for the headliner. Once the foam pieces are in place, we cut them back at the roof rail for the headliner bows. At the top of the B-pillar, the foam is cut back from the grippers. Then, using a cardboard backer, we spray the B-pillar and the long rectangular piece of foam for it. The B pillar foam is pressed in place at the back of the metal grippers down the door post. The foam is cut back for the lower seat belt mount and the seat belt crossbar, the quarter panel openings, and the quarter window opening. At the window opening, we want to have an edge for the headliner to glue to later. Moving forward above the door opening, we tape off the dome light opening, and very importantly, we don't want to lose the wiring as we'll use it later when it comes to install the new wiring harness. We also tape off the metal grippers, since the headliner will glue to them later. We use a cardboard backer and spray the roof and the short rectangular piece of foam with glue, and then press the foam into place. We trim the foam at the edge of the grippers and behind the sun visor mount, then back along the side rail. The foam is cut back from the dome line opening, and we also cut back the foam on the B-pillar for the seatbelt mount. The foam pieces on the opposite side of the car are installed in the same manner, working from the back to the front and from the top to the bottom. With the headliner padding installation complete, we can pull all the plastic sheets off and get ready for the next step, the headliner itself. 
That long video will be out next, so make sure to click the like button below, click the subscribe button so you don't miss out, and until then, check out some of our other how-to videos, and when you need parts for your vintage VW, head over to jbugs.com.